Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So in my previous videos, I've shared Android 12 and Windows 11 setup for Android devices. And I was really overwhelmed by the responses I received on those videos. And so I bring to you iOS 16 for Android. Now in this video, you will see how you can get the look and feel of iOS 16 on your Android device. And I've been working on this setup for a really long time, so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe the channel and help me make more videos like this. Now make sure that you watch this entire video as this setup is packed with features that you do not want to miss. So this setup offers the iOS 16 lock screen with depth wallpapers and emoji wallpapers as well. And it also offers the home screen, a widgets page, a settings page, a control center and the brand new iPhone 14's fully functional dynamic island. So to get started we have the lock screen here. So as you know iOS 16 lock screen comes with customizable pages. So in this setup you get three customizable pages that you can choose from. In order to change a page you can tap on the middle of the screen and then swipe left or right to change the page as your default one. Now if you wish to customize a page you can tap on the middle of the screen and then tap on the customize button. Now from here you can customize the lock screen. You can change the depth of the wallpaper. You can change the clock fonts and colors as well. So in order to customize the clock, you can tap on the clock and then change the font and you can also change the colors of the clock as well. You can also select the widget that you want on top of the clock as well. So there are four widgets available for that. And you can also customize the bottom widgets. So there are three widgets at max you can use and you have to tap on each widgets to change it. If you do not wish to keep any widget, you can just cross it out. So that is how you can customize the lock screen. And you can also change the wallpaper of the lock screen by tapping on the plus button. Now coming to the home screen. The home screen also offers three pages with two application pages and one widgets page. The widgets page also supports vertical scrolling as well. Now if you wish to customize the home screen, you can simply go to the settings and then tap on wallpaper. So if you want to customize the entire wallpaper, you can tap on the lock screen and from here you can select any wallpaper. So whatever wallpaper you select from here applies to the entire system. Now if you wish to customize the home screen separately, you can tap on the home screen page and from here you can customize your home screen. So from here you can blur the wallpaper, you can have a gradient background on your wallpaper, you can choose from the sets of colors and you can change the shade of the colors as well. And if you wish, you can have a solid background as well. Now if you want to change the wallpaper on the home screen, you can tap on the picture button. And from here, you can select the wallpaper that you wish to keep. So this way, you can have a different wallpaper on your home screen and a different wallpaper on your lock screen. You can also disable or enable the labels on the icons as well in the home screen. So you can simply turn it on in the settings. And the second page also offers a folder view as well. Now coming to the control center. So the control center is also fully functional with only a few switches that does not work because of limitations in the system. Like the brightness and the airplane mode buttons. You can also enable or disable the dynamic island from the control center. Now the lock screen also offers notifications for music player as well. So whenever you have music playing in the background, you can control it from the lock screen. And with the lock screen notification, you get notifications from other applications as well. So you can swipe up to see all the notifications. You can get up to four notifications in the lock screen. And if you wish to open a notification, you can tap on the profile pic or you can tap on the side of the box to dismiss it. And now coming to the dynamic island. So the dynamic island reacts whenever you change the ringer mode of your phone or you connect a Bluetooth device or when you plug in your device. 
The dynamic island also reacts whenever there is a music playing in the background. So you see an album art on the dynamic island and a visualizer as well. And you can also tap on the dynamic island to open music controls. And now the most exciting part of this setup, the emoji wallpapers. Now these are not just wallpapers, these are actual emojis that you can select from your keyboard. So you get the full control of the emojis, you can choose from any emojis that you get on your phone. Now there are four sets of styles for emojis. You get a big grid, a middle grid, a small grid and my personal favorite spiral grid. You can tap on the left or the right side of the screen to change the grid. You can also customize the background for the emojis. So you can select a solid background. And in this setup you also get a gradient background that iOS 16 does not offer. So you can select any sets of colors for your background. So that is all about the setup. Now coming on to how you can set this up. So to get started, the first thing you have to do is go to the link in the description and download all the materials required for this setup. Now make sure that you download all the folders and application and install it on your phone. Once you have everything on your phone, just go ahead and open this Nova launcher. So we'll start by setting up the launcher. All you have to do is long press in the middle of the screen and go to the settings. Now click on home screen and from here you need to change the dock settings. So you need to disable the dock. Now just go back and you have to change the search bar placement to none. And make sure that the wallpaper scrolling is always turned on. Now do the same for the page indicator as well and set it to none. Now go back and then tap on look and feel. So as this is a portrait setup, make sure that your device orientation is set to force portrait. And then we have to disable the notification bar as the setup already offers a notification bar. Now we're going to set up the advanced feature of swiping up and down. So for that, just go ahead and tap on gestures and input and then select swipe up and then go to the shortcuts. Now there's a problem here, it might be a glitch or something that the KLWP application is not showing here. So if you see a KLWP application here, just tap on it and in the global, type in the name as scroll, S-C-R-O-L-L -L, and in the value put in up. So you have to set swipe up gesture to up and set the swipe down gesture as scroll and the value should be down. And if you don't see the KLWP application on your device as well, don't get this audit. I already have made a backup of this setup. So you can simply download the backup file and then go to restore and backup and tap on restore. And from here just select the backup file. And that would be it, you won't have to do anything more on the setup. Now make sure to add three pages, you have to add three blank pages and delete anything that is there on the screen including any icons or widgets. Now open the iOS theme that you have downloaded and tap on this theme. So this will automatically load to KLWP and make sure that you allow all the permissions that is required in the KLWP application in order to make it work properly. Now coming to the customization of the setup. So from here you can customize your entire setup. Go to the globals and from here you can change everything. So if you wish to change the name and the profile picture you can change it as per your wish. You can erase the name and put in your name. From here you can also change the wallpapers in the setup. So wallpapers are listed as W1, W2, W3, W4. So there are 4 wallpapers available on this setup that you can change. 
Now let's say we want to change the first wallpaper. So we are going to tap on W1 and then select the wallpaper that you want to change. Now as our wallpaper does not have any foreground, we are going to select a blank page for the front of the wallpaper. So W1 wallpaper has WF1, W2 has WF2. Now you will find a blank wallpaper in the wall section of the wallpaper folder. So if you want to download the wallpapers, I have linked all the wallpapers in the description and I have also linked a folder of the wallpaper that I have designed. These are not my wallpapers but I have designed it to make it work in the depth mode. So you have to download all the wallpapers in order to change the wallpaper and if you want to change the depth wallpaper. So let's say if you want to change the depth wallpaper, we are going to tap on W2. Now go to the wallpapers by brown dot folders. So as you can see there are two wallpapers for every wallpaper. So one has the background and another has the foreground. So now we have tapped on W2 so we are going to select the background. And now we're going to go to WF2 and select the foreground of that wallpaper. And this is how you can add a depth wallpaper to your setup. And if you are an advanced user, if you like to customize, you can make your own wallpapers here like this as well. You can simply just edit out the parts that are in the background to make a depth wallpaper. Now coming to the emojis. As I said that you have full control of the emojis. You can select from any emojis that are available on your phone. You can select any emoji that is there on your keyboard. But make sure that you add at least three emojis. So even if you are going to use just one emoji, make sure to add three set of that emoji. So this is how you can customize the setup. Now just click on the save button. And then set it as your home screen wallpaper. So this is how you can get iOS 16 on your Android device. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to comment down your thoughts and feedbacks on this setup. I'll see you in my next video.